Hey guys, alright, so today's going to be a quick tip for any Pixelogic ZBrush users. Uh, I actually discovered this tip quite a while back and I thought it would be beneficial to share this with you guys. And um, it's basically uh, for anyone using ZBrush and if they try to use the noise modifier, it will usually crash your program immediately. Now there is a workaround to this, uh, but I'm just going to show you what happens. So I've got this balaclava over here. As soon as I click on noise, uh, you'll see that the window will open. I'll probably be be able to fool around with this for a little bit, whatever. Uh, but you'll see that after a while, it actually, there we go. See that ZBrush executive, executable has stopped working now. Uh, this basically prevents me from using the noise modifier, and it's really annoying. Uh, it used to cause a lot of headaches for me, but there is a workaround uh, in order to fix this. So I'm going to be showing you guys how we can go ahead and do that in the next part. All right, so I'll just go ahead and click on Close Program. And then I've, um, I'm on Windows. I don't know how to get to this particular section if you're using Mac. Uh, so I should have mentioned that in the beginning, this actually is a, a tip for fixing uh, this on the Windows operating system. Uh, but if you guys can access this folder, then uh, you should be able to do this as well. Anyway, what you want to do is go to... Um, I've installed my Pixelogic ZBrush in my C drive, but I want to go to the folder in C called Users, and I want to go to Public and Public Documents. And then in here, you'll see there's a folder called ZBrush Data. You want to open that, and then you want to go to Z Startup and config files. Now I'll just uh, recommend that you guys go ahead and back up this .cfg file uh, just in case uh, it happens to cause any errors with the program you can always roll back uh, to the, the previous version that you had. Um, so what you want to do is this is the file that you want to edit and the fix is really simple we're just going to right click rename and then here by U, uh, UI size we're going to say underscore and one and it's basically going to increase this uh, overall size of all the buttons in our program. It's going to make it quite large. Uh, so just do this uh, when you want to use the noise modifier and then go back here and put it back to what it was recently so that you can continue working with the normal button sizes. So I'll show you. I'll go ahead and open up ZBrush again. And you'll see that the button sizes have been enlarged. But this seems to be a fix uh, to basically prevent your noise modifier or the noise section from crashing. So as you can see the buttons are a lot a lot larger now. So I'll go ahead and open up that project again. And now if I go to surface and noise, you'll see that uh, it's not going to crash at all. So again it opens up. Uh, but this time uh, you'll see that I'm not going to encounter that crashing window. So I can even go to noise plug play around with all these different settings, uh, play around with the magnify mask, like all of this stuff over here, if I wanted to. And then, you'll see, I can start navigating around in here, and it's not going to crash. Even if I click on OK, uh, th that was my biggest problem. I, would, I, wouldn't, be, I wouldn't have uh, been able to even click on OK. It would have just crashed immediately. But from there, I can actually go ahead and apply that to the mesh, and you can see everything has worked fine we haven't encountered any problems with the noise uh, crashing so that's just a quick fix uh, for you guys so that you can prevent any uh, future headaches All right guys well, I hope you learned something useful from this quick tip for Pix uh, Pixelogic ZBrush uh, as always stay tuned for some more tutorials and quick tips and as always thank you for watching and goodbye